The empty cases you see are ready for product. James Lathrop can't wait to fill those cases, open the doors of Cannabis City, and start selling. But there might not be enough weed to go around. He'll start with 10 pounds sold by the gram. That gives us 2,200 packages. So the first 2,200 people. <laughs> Is it done by Wednesday? Uh, yeah, it's, that's the prediction. Throughout Washington's marijuana industry, there's concern demand will far outstrip supply this first week, pushing prices up. We're going to be in that range of 15 to $20 a gram. More than 300 stores will be licensed eventually, but only about 20 licenses will be issued this week. And only a handful of shops, including Cannabis City, are expected to open. There's been a lot of red tape, you know, and, 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 and a lot of hoops for the producers and processors to go through. Boy, you know, we had to jump through hoops with this, but the hoops those guys have had to jump through has been, have been a lot. This is one of the pinch points in the supply system and another place where we get an indication that the big pot rollout is going to be more like a big pot dribble out. This is one of just two companies approved by the state for testing marijuana products before they go on sale. Ed Stremlow is the founder and COO. And Ed, shouldn't you be swamped right now testing recreational samples? Yes, we should be. So what's happening? Well, you know, we had a delay in the licensing process uh, at the end of last year and People, the producers and processors just aren't ready. We don't have enough pot. We don't have enough pot. By contrast, Colorado's legal pot liftoff was a huge retail success. First day sales estimated at $1 million. That state already had a booming and well-regulated medical marijuana industry, and the switch to retail recreational pot was smooth. In Washington, though, medical marijuana is virtually unregulated and isn't written into the new law. So the business of legal pot for fun has been built from the ground up. Growers and processors got licenses in March, and in many cases, the first legal crop hasn't been harvested. So it's been hard for them to get up and running, and, and so that's you know that's where it's the only places that I can get product from are those people, and they are are still struggling. Store owners and state regulators expect a bumpy beginning, but also expect supply problems to ease in the months ahead.